Okay, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, like a continuation, basically, of what I released yesterday is the RS um, Logics uh, Micro uh, Starter Kit and the um, Emulator. So um, this is the RS, Log RS Logics Emulate 500. Um, so if you happen to have like a compiler issue, um, this is generally on the um, again, this would be under the RS Logics Micro uh, Starter Light. If you have that happen, generally it's it's because of something in the um, the file itself uh, or the the program itself. So what I mean by that is I, I'll reference a tech note that just got updated the other day. Um, this tech note uh, again was created in '99, um, updated literally a couple days ago, uh, 927 2018. Um, this is again saying uh, you may not have it this exact area, but it's still related um, as far as the compiler so um, in this case, it's saying that uh, an error can occur uh, You know if by chance that the single step um, in, is enabled or um, in allowing indexing across files so like indirect addressing and stuff like that, which is not necessarily um, so much it is kind of a vague area right there so um, either way so however it says the single step is not supported um, and this is basically talking about um, a 501 but is also talking about a micrologic series which if you um, recall this uh, starter is a micro micrologic series controller so this is a 11 micrologic 1100 and a micrologic 1000 the solution what they're telling you to do is going to the pro, uh, processor status and verify a few things. Okay, so obviously, um, so at this point, go, you just open it up and check it. But how do you do that? So I'm going to show you how to, exactly how to do that. For one, you need to change the radius. Uh, what they're saying that radiance to um, from uh, structure to binary. So wh what that means is basically your data type. So we're going to pull it up here. They're going to you're going to go over to processor status. You're going to go stay in main right here, and then you're going to go down and change the radiance right here to from structure to binary. And then they're telling you to look for the bit, for, um, they're telling you to look for this bit right here and this bit right here. Um, it could change depending upon which um, bit you're actually using. Um, I think it's no, it's, it's actually. Um, two three and two four the two bits if one of these is set high you need to change that to zero um, then that should actually solve the problem um, this also if you look at another tech note um, they both kind of reference the same thing this tech note um, was updated um, of 531 of 2018 it has an un unknown compiler again the environment is still a control logics uh, or not control logic, but micro logics, uh, and then a, a slick. It's still saying the same thing. Is the enable single step uh, compiler option is enabled? So the solution again is to obtain an offline copy of the latest project, change the radiance from structure to binary to access the bits, set the S um, two four bit to zero, and then download the project. So um, they're also telling you, they're giving you another option down here too, which um, obviously this is a slightly a bit harder, but um, so it's going to take a lot longer to go through, but I, I will say that first try the first one. Uh, the second cause too is one or more of the data uh, values are illegal. So um, it's, again, tells you the solution is to obtain an online copy of the latest program, locate the bad data, and then edit. Uh, verify the project um, then after you know, fixing obviously the, the bad data then of course that's kind of vague so so now we really want to kind of go into um, the, the third cause so in the third cause um, basically uh, you, you have the current version of RS Logic 5000 is attempting to upload the project that does not uh, does not include the same enhancements uh, needed in the programming of the version that you're currently using. Okay, so basically what they're saying um, down here is the solution is verify that the firmware in the series of, of the processor is 
uh, and make sure that the what you know what it is and make sure that it actually uh, is currently supported to that. Uh, locate the uh, processor firmware by clicking on the processor status again like we just showed and then go to um, basically uh, you, you look under this this is the S58 uh, S59 um, in this case you know if the if the two aren't lined up then you could have a, a problem so let's actually look at that let's go up here um, and go to S58 and S59 um, again this is the series uh, so you can go right here and look at that that series you can see that this is an 1100 and it's series B um, so that if you're using if you're somehow you chose to use uh, a different series or you choose to use um, a firmware that's not supported with the emulator um, basically the RS Logix emulate 500 you will then have a problem as well I would suggest um, if you are consistently have this problem and you've already ran through some of the steps that we talked about what I would do is uh, you know make a new file and make sure that you are compatible um, with every, the setup that I ran the other day and I showed how to do um, this is the current you know thing that I use is the 1100 and I use series B um, then I use the compiler everything's I mean I'm able to run it 100% right now so if I go online it's it's still on you know in that online status and um, still able to be used. So um, as far as that goes, it's showing my Micrologix 1100. So I'm, I'm lining up with everything that they're saying down here. Um, again, so this is um, this is just something to check, right? So I would again, I would check the third cause right here. Um, this second cause, obviously, you would have a programming issue if you had that issue, if you had that problem. So your data just verify, you know. That you, you can basically do that by testing it, making a new file, saving it, and then downloading it again or, or going online with it again. Meaning making a new file, loading it in the emulator, and then pointing the um, emulator to uh, basically the new file and then going online with it. So um, that would solve this issue right here if that happened to be the case. Um, the first mo more common one is this um, S2. Um, so the S24, again, that is easily obtained by going to um, the processor status, and then you go into changing the radiance to binary. They're going to look at S24. Again, I'm online, so um, on it's S24 or S23. Either one of these are uh, set to one. Then you need to change those to zero. Um, and then after all that's checked. And all that's good. Uh, go down, and I would definitely verify this as well. Verify that you are running the correct firmware and the versions, and you can check that by uh, looking at um, S58 and S59 again by easily obtaining that by going to processor status, uh, changing it back to structure, and then going to uh, looking at your your processor, and then looking at exactly what versions and everything that you're running. So hopefully that kind of cleared that up and uh, hopefully gave you a couple instances to go off of. You know, I know I've had a couple questions on this um, and I've seen people have issues with the compiler. So there's a couple different tech notes about this. Again, one is um, the 8711 and this was done, uh, updated actually in uh, uh, 05, 31 and um, uh, this year. So. The next one, which is I consider, you know, probably more the um, probably more reasonable thing that, that could happen, is this one that was um, unsupported uh, compiler option, which uh, basically you check the compiler settings, and that's again that was uh, updated just recently, just a couple of days ago. So I would definitely check um, the more um, reasonable one that that actually has, uh, you know couple um, it, it, I mean it, it's closer to what it, it could be so again uh, check these out see what you think and see if this fixes your issues if you have this uh, you're having a compiler issue using um, the micro uh, starter or if you're using Micrologix 500 um, anyway and you're trying to use emulator if you're having this issue you need to check 
these um, for these these items and these tech notes. So again, hopefully that was helpful, and um, please let me know what you, your thoughts are, and uh, I will carry on to uh, make a couple more videos. So again, um, we're here to help. So uh, again, check the links below if you would like to join my groups, or if you are part of my groups, thank you, and thank you for your support on YouTube.